kal halalium la yahawo bahasham shal yahawo shai bahasham rakha kodash that will honor the apostles and elders of great and so on and salutations the sincere akim just pushing the truth in, in righteousness and sincerity and truth um, what i said earlier is um all praises to yahweh the heavenly father's only only name who the world ignorantly calls jah god etc in the name of yahweh shai who the world ignorantly calls jesus yeshua etc and um in the holy spirit which is the wisdom and the sign of the most high holy word all right so i was going through some uh, you know some whatsapp statuses and so forth and i saw this guy that posted um this this quote it says um sometimes it's not based on how much talent you have but it's based on who's hungrier all right so nameless lesson is who's hungry and the hebrew word is um raib that's from strong 74 56 all right it's like for for voracious hunger you know so let's get into the precepts all right and um, I want to say to Adi Alba Hashim Yoshai for putting the spirit on me to do another lesson. And you know, to ed help edify the church. All right. Um, I think the first one is going to be Deuteronomy. I'm just going off the spirit with this one. So Deuteronomy. Don't shoot me 30. Get it in my chew, slack you. Yeah. I wanted that one in Deuteronomy. I said I might bring it out of the spray. And my chew four and four. But he answered, not he referring to Yahweh Shai, but he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. Alright? So, if you hungry, alright? If you're truly hungry in this life, you would seek the wisdom of knowledge, knowledge wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because Yahweh, Yahweh Shai has the bread of life, right? The fountain, the fountain of everlasting life as well. Right? And um only elect can be truly hungry. And they're gonna do things as if they're famished, as if as if they're ferociously hungry. You know, they're gonna go harm for this truth, and Lord willing, you know, the sincere argument is part of that lot. Right? The apostles and elders of great new soul and the other the other sincere acumen that, that that is out there. You know. And let me see here. Yeah, this is Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse three. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that ye might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai doth man live. So if if somebody is really hungry and really want to live, they're gonna they're gonna um seek this truth. Seek this truth like a fiend, you know. Really be hungry and you know, I'm I'm working on you know being that hungry like 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 zombie kind of hungry like rah, just running through you know not not, not to burn yourself or the, or you know but you're showing that 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 persistence that and that um that willingness to serve you how about shimmy or shite so it's not based on on talent it's based on who's hungry as who fear the Lord the most and so forth All right that's what how about shimmy or is looking for let's go to uh, let's go back to Matthew um, chapter 5 I believe yeah Matthew chapter 5 verse 6 and it says blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled right and righteousness is doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yoshai trying to keep the laws and commandments pushing out these videos um, and among other things you know staying locked in the spirit showing hunger because people thinking that you know you feed it once you once you feed his body some rice or some chicken and stuff like that you're good but really truly living is obedience to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai all right and it says so in revelation and right, let's get it it says um let me see here yeah there we go 
It says, uh, this is Revelation chapter 3, verse 17, Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. You see? Poor and blind and naked and miserable. Who's more miserable than a than a wretched man, than a, than a poor, than a than a hungry man? You know, it says a, a hungry man is an angry man. I shall counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in fire, that thou mayest be rich, and, and a white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed. That the shame of thy nakedness do not part, and anoint thine eye with eye salve, that thou mayest see. All right. Um, there's another precept. Let me see here. Another one that pertains to you know being fed, being fed. All right, I want to get it, I don't want to misquote it. Yeah, this is um Revelation chapter 10 and verse 9. And I went unto the, unto the angel and said unto him give me the little book and he said unto me take it eat it up and it shall make thy belly bitter and it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey all right only a hungry man would eat something after a really hungry man would eat something after he's been told that he can make his stomach bitter it's like yo it tastes sweet in my mouth and even though it hit my stomach bitter i still gonna eat it right let's get um ezekiel 2 and 8 all right there's one in Jeremiah. Right, let me get the one in Jeremiah first, because it's not nah, slacky. Let me listen to the spirit and then get uh, full of myself, so to speak. All right. It says, um, This is um, Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 7. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee, and be not rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that eat that I give thee. So it's like it's like a parent trying to feed the child, and the child's like, mm, mm, I don't want it, you know? So through the spirit, we gotta be eating this. The most high is feeding us these these precepts and these on the sun and so forth, and we gotta eat it. We gotta eat it, alright? Thus say to Alba Shimi O'Shea. Right, let me just, I see another one in Ezekiel. Let me just double check it. This one here. Um, okay. Let me see. Where, where are you? Alright. Mm, let me see. Yeah, it is a good one. This is um, Ezekiel 3 and 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest eat this roll and go and speak to the house of israel so we gotta be hungry you can't eat on a full stomach because you know you, you feel stuffy and you don't you don't have appetite right that's why the scripture said blessed are they that hunger for righteousness because we want that 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 bread of life all right so all right it's like, yeah uh, let me wrap this up and go and speak unto the house of Israel. Open my, I so I open my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with the roll that I gave thee. That then did I then did I eat, and it was in my mouth as honey sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee out of the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. All right. Um. I want to find this one in Jeremiah, Father Willen. Oh, this battery don't cut out. Uh, Jeremiah. Um, let's see. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, this is Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 14. Wherefore, thus saith Yahweh, power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth. No, not that one. Slack, yeah. Yeah, um, and, oh, and we got to digest this, um, this wisdom and knowledge as in apply it. 
let it be let it be uh, you know um your strength it is our strength so you know let it let let it continue to be our strength all right uh all right let me paraphrase it just in case it's full and cut off but it says that we should eat the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right, Let, yeah, eat the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So, pray that Slash Musa define Shalom, Brakata, Tuar Yahweh, Tuar Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and the great millstone. Salutations to the sincere Akiyam.